Hello, hello. This is Rachel of Rachel Gets Creative. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to continue with part two of my Marie Antoinette Strawberry Shortcake Mashup Portrait. If you missed part one, click the link above to see planning and sketching, a little painting, and my first time using epoxy sculpt clay. There's also a totally awesome 1980s montage, a wig made of paper, dancing, and a tiger eating strawberries. What are we going to do in part two? I don't know. Um, more work with clay, maybe some painting, definitely some silliness, and cake. Num num num. Let us eat cake. Okay, so this is me conditioning the clay. You've got to make it soft um, before you can actually, you know, work with it. And I had meant to set this, sorry, I thought I'd set this to some sort of peppy 1980s music for another montage, but I just wasn't feeling it quite yet. So this is the prelude portion of Prelude and Fugue number one in C major by Bach. Uh, I know I say that like I'm a chicken, bock, bock, um, and that the proper German way is different, something more like, um, bah, ha, bah, ha, there's a breath, ha, almost like midsummer. um, anyhow, I am going to, um, stick with bock and just let you listen to the music. Alrighty, so strawberry leaves tend to come in threes, 
uh, strawberry petals on flowers look like they come in fives. Uh, these are some old ones I did. They weren't super great. Um, you can see the, the bottom part's already baked. But I did replace the centers. I think they could use an improvement like these. And I've stuck uh, this grouping together with Bake and Bond, which does exactly what it says. Uh, you bake it. It's a liquid clay, and it helps bond these uh, groups together. Now, uh, uncooked clay or unbaked clay will stick to unbaked clay. Basically, wet to wet will usually stick, but um, to another surface or to dry clay, you've got to use something like the liquid clay, like the bacon bond. So, this is going to get baked. These are kind of thick, so I'm going to say instead of the normal 15 minutes, maybe 20, 25 minutes uh, at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Hello. What's up? We're gonna make a uh, strawberry to go in the center of this. And then that's gonna go in uh, Marie Strawberry Shortcake's hair. Something like that. Mm, maybe. And strawberry and uh, strawberry shortcake would approve. Guy in a minute. So get a good sphere. This is after you've warmed the clay up in your hand, made it malleable. Take it like this, kind of work that little bottom to a point. Mm. Strawberries are kind of flat on top. I just give it a couple of taps. That usually does it. Not super flat, but you know. Mm. Squish. Strawberry seeds. There's an indent in the little seed on the inside, and it's almost like an upside down teardrop. It's hard to tell, but I've made this tool to try to replicate that. And it's not bad. Look at that. <laughs> hey, strawberry. You're making a strawberry. What do you think, strawberry shortcake? I think that's very nice. What's this they do? Look at it. Look at it. Um, so if you don't always, so if you don't always have the tool at your disposal to work with polymer clay to make a certain effect, you can make the tool out of polymer clay. I mean, why not? And I just kind of sculpted it to a little point, cut it at an angle, poked a hole in the end baked it uh, for 15 minutes at 275 degrees. That's the basic super sculpy bakey. And the lady, there's a lady on YouTube, which I'll find and put a link. Uh, she had a great tutorial about how to make strawberries, but she used a toothpick. And I ran out of toothpicks. Whatever shall I do if I have a cocktail party? to do that again. Chemical monster.
That was a rookie mistake. Um, so for any of you who didn't read that teeny tiny shameful, ashamed th font, it said, I kind of sort of almost ruined my painting by baking it in the oven. Trying to bake that super sculpy, but I'd already put down a layer of acrylic. That was not smart, not my smartest move. Future Rachel, why didn't you warn me? <laughs> Stupid head. Ooh, pretty. Blue, blueberry pie. Apple dumpling. I heard this little crackle, crackle, crackle. And I'm like, oh crap, that was a bad idea. So I I looked in, I turned on the oven light and I looked in and I it was bubbling up. Even like her face had a bubble. And I went, ah, and I took her out and I flattened it out as best I could. And I ended up having to take off all those super sculpty bits. Um, epoxy sculpt held up just great. <laughs> and uh scraping the bad paint with an exacto knife and sanding it and anyway just a little setback just a little uh what i know you might have brain damage because of toxic fumes i hope not you seem to be acting normal so anyway, don't do that. Don't do what I just did. That was a bad idea. Uh, save all the paint for after the clay work or make all the clay work epoxy sculpt and then put on the super sculpty at the end, which is what I'm going to do with the strawberries and leaves anyway. So I messed up. I bet you messed up my microphone. <laughs> Not your fault. You have brain damage. At this point, I got really sick of clay. Of clay, of clay. It's almost full. I want pumpkins, not berets. Strong berets. Stay the course. Take a break and start to paint. Don't bake the paint. That sounds great.
that's very good. So, do you think we need a part three? I definitely think we need a part three. Strawberry Shortcake is indeed right. There is going to be a part three in which um, we will design cakes, transfer them to the canvas, paint them up, paint her up, finish it, do the hair, do the dress, do it all uh, because I am ready to be done with it, honestly. Um, it is almost September. It is time for pumpkins. It is time for Halloween. It is time for autumn and falling leaves and things like that. Um, but this is a project I've wanted to do a long time. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish it. Woo! Yeah! I'm gonna finish it. See you in part three. Take care. Thank you for watching. Thank you. So that's it. I'm dead, eh? Not good enough for your high and mightiness. But no, madame. Royalty loves an occasional role in the gutter. Don't they, Grandpapa? I just want to be free to be with you. To love you. I cannot wear my crown upon my heart.